Thank you for the opportunity to achieve some clarity. I'm wondering if I'm meant to be Well, wait, making... do you mean to be? Do you Pardon mean me? to be? Do you mean to be? In other words, am I meant to be? What could that mean? Okay. Am I supposed to be making wait, a contribution? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Do you want to make a contribution? Yes. In other words, where do you get this? Am I supposed to? Am I meant to? This is the science of deliberate creation. This is, I've come forth into this physical body to mix it up and decide what I want to do. Have you decided? Oh, I'm confused. I just have this underlying feeling that I'm being called to do something. And I'm not doing it because I don't know what it is. And I have a sense of, of time passing. And I'm not doing it. Well, time is passing. <laughs> and that feeling does mean that your life has caused you to identify things that you want and experiences that you want and if you have that feeling of discontent or that feeling of confusion you said you're looking for clarity yes. then that does mean that you're not turning and going with the flow and it's the reason that we begin these gatherings by trying to explain to you who you are and how the stream works and that your own intentionality is responsible for that calling so what you just said to us is Abraham I have the feeling that my life has caused me to identify some desires that I'm not letting myself go to in other words that's all that's meant to be what's meant to be is what you've put there in more blunt terms we've been saying to you a few times already here that you are you and what you're living are responsible for the speed of your stream and you and what you're thinking are responsible for whether you're going with it or not so what you just described is sort of what we were describing in the beginning uh, segment a few days ago that if life has caused you to ask for things and you're not letting yourself go then you have that feeling that you've described just now what to do about it now we want to speak specifically to what you're talking about and how you're feeling. We want you to understand that that calling is not necessarily some specific thing. Start again. That calling, that vibrational escrow, that culmination is incredibly specific because as you've lived life, you have put the specifics in it. And so it's specific to the exact detail of things that will delight you at many levels of your being. It's incredibly specific. But depending upon how close in vibrational alignment to it you are at any point in time, are those specifics revealed to you? In other words, haven't you noticed that the closer you get, you can feel that something's about to pop and the ideas start popping too? Well, that's because you've begun to achieve vibrational alignment and the closer you get to it, then the more those details pop so much so that you can meet someone and you'll say, you are it. You're what I've been looking for. You're exactly right, you see. But if you're not feeling that way, if it feels vague and you're not sure, then that means that the majority of your thoughts are upstream in nature while what you want is downstream in nature. Now, there's not a problem with that, but we can't say to you, we are not going to dig into your vibrational escrow and reveal it to you because you couldn't hear it if you heard the words and you wouldn't see it if it stood right in front of you. In other words, your work is to get your vibration more in the proximity of that. You hear that? Yeah. Now, it's okay. It does not matter where you are because after all, you're in the stream. And which way is the stream going? Which way, which only way is the stream going? In other words, the stream cannot, did we go away? The stream cannot go 
in opposition to where everything that you want is the stream is only moving in that direction and so your work is just to find a way to make statements that make you feel better and the statements that you made to us all of them were upstream statements I'm confused I'm seeking clarity you said I I feel like I'm meant to do something but I'm not doing it I feel like time is passing by and I'm not getting it done upstream 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 so wow. uh, so and we understand how when you don't know how or when or who when you can't explain the details of it how it would feel like that but now you have insight that you didn't have before now you know about the stream now you know about your stuff now you know about your emotions now you know about how to find relief so make an effort here to make some downstream statements about all of this just make an effort um, well it, it's easy because I have an awesome life I love my life I feel joy most of the time throughout my day I pretty much do what I want I have an awesome husband two fabulous cats well we we don't we don't doubt any of that but we think that you're off the subject of what you sat here to discuss in other words ah. you you just sat down and said I think I'm meant to do something I'm not doing so yes so talk about that in downstream terms I'm drawing a blank I think I'm meant to do something that I'm not doing try to find a statement of relief I trust that it'll appear good statement keep going I read your books I mm. don't don't lose track of what your goal is here I think I'm meant to do something and I don't know what to do and I'm trying to soften that angst in my belly I think I'm supposed to do something and I don't know what to do Wow I'll probably figure it out maybe I'll figure it out I'd like to figure it out I hope I'll know it when I see it I know that feeling of aha I've I felt I felt inspiration about things before I'm I now know about law of attraction I really do believe Abraham's version of the stream I I know that what I want is downstream and it doesn't bother me so much that I can't spell it all out because I trust that I've been working on it for a lifetime and beyond so I know it must be really good and the life that I am living is a good life and I don't have to figure it all out this red-hot minute and I think I've been making more of it than I am supposed to I, I think that what I'm really saying here is that I've got a strong spirit and strong wanting and and I do want to apply myself a little more and um, and, and I will when I get an idea about something and and I don't re I've never resisted a really good idea I've never felt an impulse to do something and said no I'm just not gonna do that I always do follow my impulses so I think I'm probably more on track than than I was speaking earlier and maybe what I'm really talking about is I can feel that the calling is strong and I want to get up to speed with it and I'm doing all right now that may be all the movement that you'll get in one sitting but it's enough in other words you let go of the oars Mm -hmm. you're getting the sense of how this works yes. you see we've noticed that so many of you in your action orientation to life then step into this world where we're teaching you about vibration and you try to apply your same tactics to the vibrational work as you were to your physical work and so so you 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 try to get determined and you try to set goals and and you, you want to make things happen and what we're wanting to impress upon you is that you have already made it happen by living of life and by putting it in a vibrational escrow and now your work is not to try to make it happen your work now is to let it happen but in order to let something happen that that takes a lot it takes a lot of self-control to let go of control mm-hmm 
In other words, it isn't easy for you to let go. In fact, it almost feels counter to what you're asking for. You're saying, I think I'm meant to do things that I'm not doing. That's the opposite. I'm meant to do things that I'm going to let myself do. Can you feel the difference? Determination. Yes. I'm going to heal myself. I'm going to set a goal. I'm going to figure out what to do. I'm going to be the best in the world at it. Upstream, 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 upstream. But when you say my life has caused me to create it, I know it's waiting for me. My source is there, not only tending to it, but being it. I can, I can feel that I'm being called toward it. I don't know exactly what to do or where to go, but I can feel the call. And I know that as I relax more, that I will begin to translate the call of source into more real details will I, where I will be able to identify and describe this wonderful creation more vividly. That sounded magnificent. Thank you. Just be easy about it. And so, you know, we'll give you some really easy downstream <sighs> thoughts that you could, that you can use all of the time. There is no rush is really a good one. There is no rush. I got plenty of time. Here's another one. I'm pretty good at this. Another. I don't have to figure it all out this red hot minute. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Here's another. It's natural for things to turn out for me. It is. Absolutely. Another. When I feel like doing it, it's always fun. When I don't feel like doing it, it sucks. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here's another. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The stream is the current. Law of attraction is the manager. And I am the willing floating boat. I am the willing floating boat. Thank you. Sort of gets it in the right perspective. Yes, it good. does. Very good. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Now what? Thank you. How does setting a goal fit in with allowing? If your work is already done because your life has caused you to put it in vibrational escrow, then why would you ever need to set a goal? But does setting a goal sometimes feel good? Why do, then why, why would setting a goal, if, if I've all, if my life has caused me to already create it and it's already created and it's calling me to it, then why would I ever need to make an affirming statement? Because as it feels good, I am in the moment of setting the goal or making the affirmation. I am focusing in harmony with what's waiting over there for me. In other words, so does the affirmation always feel good? So what do you do when it doesn't feel good? Stop it. In other words, don't, don't. Don't keep pushing to try to make it happen. Find a way to let it happen. So all of the processes that we offer, whether it's an affirmation, whether it's a meditation, whether it is the identifying what you, of what you want, whether it's talking about what you want and why you want it, all of that is just because it's fun to focus in vibrational alignment with what's over there in vibrational escrow. It's fun to focus and become in vibrational alignment with what's waiting for you in vibrational escrow. It's not fun to focus when you're out of alignment. And, and so what happens to so many of you is you believe in focusing, you believe in goal setting, you believe in affirmation, but you have not distinguished whether it's upstream or downstream while you're doing it. And so now as you apply your understanding that only downstream works, only downstream affirmations work, only downstream feeling goals work. So that's why when you say, I need a hundred thousand dollars and I need it tomorrow, it's upstream. When you say I need, or I want a hundred thousand dollars and it's coming to me in good time, you begin to let go and you begin to flow toward it. You see, 
So your determination works against you because your determination says, I must do it. Where your allowing says, it is already done. Your determination says, I have battles to win. While your allowing says, there is no battle. The well-being is already mine. Can you feel the difference?